I'm Brandon Holstein from The Speed Merchant. The new Nicer platform is, uh, I gotta say, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. Obviously, we got to be a part of the build with Harley Davidson and do our little twist to it. And I was really surprised at how well it handled and how quick it is. One of the things that I really like about the new Nightster is the classic lines. So it still holds that that traditional Sportster, you know, stance and look. But now it's got you know the Revolution motor in it, which I, you know back in the day we made a T-shirt that said "Smoking Big Twins," you know, and. Uh, and I, I think that reigns true till today too, now with that new 975. We were asked at, towards the end of uh, 2021 to be a part of this. And I really didn't know what to expect until we saw photos. And immediately, I think when I saw the photos of the Nightster, that was just basically a computer um, you know, photo, we knew immediately that we wanted to do a, like a hooligan bike. That's, that's kind of immediately where we went. Um, I, I think originally before even seeing it, we were gonna try and go sort of a, a road racing route because that's kind of where we're, we've been heading lately. But after looking at it, the the classic lines just made it made it perfect for uh, a little hooligan bike. Yeah, so that's what we did. We took some Roadster wheels, Sportster Roadster wheels, uh, used two front front wheels, 19s front and back, put some Dunlops on it. Um, you know, we did a whole custom subframe and tail section uh, that Saddleman helped us with, and and just built what we thought was a pretty good little hooligan bike. So, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully maybe it can make it on a track somewhere at some point, you know, maybe after this tour is done. So, when I start a, a custom project or a custom build, um, you know, you're always starting with some sort of platform, um, unless we're building a ground up, you know, frame up design. Uh, generally, we'll look at, at, at the foundation we're given and I'm looking for improvements usually, you know, uh, whether it's handling, suspension, you know, getting it up off the ground, uh, more power, better braking, uh, and, and stuff like that. Usually it's, it's, it's gonna be built around the purpose that it's serving. Uh, you know, is it, is it a, a long hauler? Is it, is it a race bike? You know, what, what, what's the bike gonna be used for? Uh, so a after answering those questions, that sort of helps, I guess, guide the design process. One of the very first things that we did was uh, uh, the taller suspension in the rear. We, we wanted to get it up off the ground to give it a lot more lean angle. So we went from whatever the stock length shocks were, whether they're 10 and a half or 11, I'm not even sure, but we've got 15 inch shocks on it now. So we picked it up pretty much uh, as high as we could without interfering with that, that gas tank. Uh, Cause you know, on, on the new design, the gas tank is under the seat and it, it, it it goes all the way down under the seat and there's a belly underneath the swing arm. So we had to section the swing arm to be able to give us extra clearance to raise it. Um, so that, that was one of the first things that we did. Um, and then the second was tackling the tail section and the, the seating position. Yeah. And then beyond that, it felt like, like I said, we, we had a tight timeline. So we were just trying to throw everything at, at it at once. T time was definitely one of the challenges. Uh, and we, we were, we're kind of familiar with this because we did this with, with uh, the, the the XG750, we had an XG500 that we had built for Born for years and years ago when it first came out. And uh, being a new platform, if you screw something up, you, you, you know, you can't get parts for it. So we had to make sure that everything that we did uh, was gonna still work and still function when we were, when we were done with it. Because it's not like you can just go to the parts counter and get something that you need. You know, the, the, the bike hasn't, it wasn't even released at the time. So yeah, that was one of the major challenges. When you're when you're in the trenches and you're actually you know you've got it's tight you got two months to do this you know it's it's a bit stressful uh, and then you know also trying to run a business at the same time um, that was a big challenge but I would say overall and seeing the finished product and what Harley has done with it and and the videos that the guys did uh, you know on all the builders and, and the fact that these builders are from all over the world um, that that really was just it, it was so awesome to be a part of. Uh, yeah, I would love to thank a. I mean Harley Davidson for for including you know us in in this in this process. Um, you know we've been uh, having a working relationship with Harley now for quite a few years, and, and it's it's been awesome. So a, I'd like to thank Harley. Uh, you know Saddleman really helped us out with this uh, and 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 nailed the seat design like to a T. It's exactly what what I was envisioning, and and they came through um, and a tight deadline as well. Uh, Galfer also helped us out, you know, with uh, 
with their uh, brake rotors and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, our guys over at Specialized Coatings who always do our powder coating as fast as we need it. Uh, so, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so like being here at Born Free, this is the first time I get to see all of the other uh, builds. You know, we've only got to see it, I'm sure, like you had uh, via video and, and photos. Um, but now I get to see each one in person, and I'm just blown away by, by some of the work that's been done on, on these bikes. I, I can't believe that some of these guys did so much work in such a short amount of time. Uh, it's, it, it blows me away. You know, I, I thought I was like crunched, but some of these guys did so much work, and I couldn't, you know, I'm just, I'm stoked. Yeah.